better start recording a fucking video and I don't even have my microphone on my face. So, holy fucking shit, way to start my fucking day. Um, I watched a news article someone sent me about the shooting that just happened yesterday or so, and what the fuck? The very first thing a grieving parent screams from his little podium when given the chance to give a speech about it at a memorial is the NRA killed the children. No. A misogynistic, womanizing, hate-filled piece of shit killed your children. He may have had a firearm, whether it was legally procured or not, you shouldn't even care at that point. It should be, thank God that bastard's gone. It should be, we're going to miss our families. Let's remember all the good times we had with them. Let's think about, you know, in, in my case, you know, if, if there are family members who found salvation and blah, 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 I'm not going to get into a religious rant right now because I know somebody watching this video is going to be like, oh, great, he's using this as an excuse to push religion. No. I'm not going to push anything. I might push you if you're an MDA member, if you're one of those mom demand action idiots who needs to be smacked in the face. Um, a tweet was put out, and I'm, I'm really hoping this was a trolling thing. I hope this was made up, but fucking seriously, someone said that they wished that it had been NRA members' children who had been shot, that in the next shooting they would rather someone target the NRA members' families so that the NRA will dismiss it and give them a free pass because they were simply exercising their rights with legally procured firearms. And honestly, whoever said that, whether you were joking or not, you should have your fucking throat ripped out. You should have your head beat against the fucking concrete where they have glass embedded in the, in the fucking surface of the concrete. You should have your head knocked against that shit. Fucking, really, you need to die. You need to be fucking brutalized for saying that shit. Whether you're an MDA member or not, you need to fucking die for that. That is uncalled for. Fucking wishing death upon someone else's children? Fuck you. Fuck you. You are a goddamn disgusting piece of shit. And I hope that someone finds you and pours gas in your hair. Fucking light that shit up. Fuck you. You fucking disgust me. I really hope, like I said, I really hope that it was a generated joke to troll and fucking make people hate the MDA. Honestly, though, you don't need to do that. If you were joking, um, mom demands action. That fucking group already embarrasses themselves. They already make themselves look like dumbasses. Shannon Watts got up on the fucking news video that I just watched and and said that because this little psycho went and killed these women and shot it out with the police. Um, he fucking, that the gun bullies will not silence her. Um, it, it's not gun bullies trying to silence some, some woman victim. It's, I mean, yeah, I'm sure she's facing a lot of harassment. And those of you who are harassing her, stop, because you're just justifying every little fucked up thing, that cross-eyed inbred little fucking piece of garbage goddamn says. I mean, holy shit. And those of you who hate her because she's a woman speaking out, it's okay for women to speak out. The problem is she's a human being who doesn't belong here, who is fucking retarded. You know? I mean, she has the right to fucking free speech, just like we have the right to not listen and and to let her fuck off. I mean, shit. You know? Like, like whenever you're watching a, a show on cable television, if any of you still have that, 
in this day and age. Um, if you're watching, if you're watching some kind of, if you're watching Cartoon Network and then Adult Swim comes on, and let's say Robot Chicken really fucking disgusts you, go a few channels down and you'll find Nickelodeon. They keep it family friendly. Well, at the time when when I lived with my parents and had cable, fucking um, Cartoon Network was channel 42 and Nickelodeon was channel 40. And if channel 42 is objectionable, just go down to and there's fucking Rugrats, and you no longer have to be disgusted by really shitty claimination bullshit or whatever it was that was fucking bothering you on Channel 42. The same thing with Shannon Watts. Honestly, like, personally, I listen to what she says so that I can pick apart what the fuck she's saying because she's so stupid. And when I call her stupid, it's because she ran her stupid mouth and stupid spewed out of her stupid fucking face. Same with Piers Morgan. Stupid spewed out of his stupid fucking face. Because, remember, I am very racist. Extremely fucking racist against stupid. And the thing about stupid that pisses me off the most is it doesn't have a color. There are no visual signs or anything about the person visually that warns you, hey, that's a stupid right there. That's a stupid motherfucker you're looking at. You know they're a stupid motherfucker once they've opened their mouths. Or once they've acted out a behavior that identifies them as fucking stupid. And then it's too late. Then we've been affected. And, 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 and our health has all been fucking eroded away just a tiny little bit, but it still happened. And, and enough of it happens, and eventually you get fucking sick. And there is no doctor who can fix you once stupid has fucked you up. So, honestly, like, you know, taking a permanent marker to their foreheads and writing stupid on their foreheads, once you identify them, you might be fucked up from whatever stupid came out of their mouth, or whatever stupid shit they just did, but fucking, you might do the next guy a favor. And honestly, I think with her being fucking cross-eyed and shit, and everybody knowing who she is because she's all over the fucking news and all over the internet, acting like she's a goddamn fucking victim and shit. Um, that's that's even better than taking a sharpie and writing stupid on her forehead. Piers Morgan, same thing. You know he's fucking stupid. He's out of the television business because he's so fucking stupid. It took a long enough time for people to realize how much of a fucking idiot he was, but. He's finally shut down because he fucked up CNN. Pretty soon, Shannon Watts will fuck up female activism, and all the women around the country will be like, okay, Ms. Watts, shut the fuck up. And she won't be allowed to be stupid anymore, and she'll have to, she'll have to go back to fucking... Oh, wait, she can't go back to McDonald's because they're replacing the cashiers there with the automated little machines. Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. She, they're fucking themselves. All these fucking stupid people. And and that guy who was at the podium fucking flapping his arm around as he's screaming like a crying little bitch. I mean, yeah. You lost a family member. It wasn't the NRA's fault. It's just like when soldiers go to Afghanistan and fucking get shot to death. The AK didn't do it. The fucking Muslim religion, the Quran, didn't do it. The U.S. Army didn't fucking do it. The Marine Corps, whoever you were serving with, didn't fucking do it. Unless it was a fratricide incident, then yes, your battle buddy fucked you pretty goddamn bad. Um, but if you were legitimately killed by the enemy... Your family's not going to fucking sit there and and fucking go find an Afghan living in America and beat the shit out of them because some Taliban fuck in Afghanistan fucking killed you. 
Because, for one, that's our occupation in the military, is to fucking fight and risk death. That's why we have holidays for us. We have Memorial Day, which we just had, which is to honor the fallen. For those of you on Facebook who could not get the fucking, couldn't get the two straight, you have Veterans Day to fucking barbecue and be thankful for the motherfuckers that are serving that have made it back. You've got uh, fucking, then you've got the other holidays, and then you've got your unit holidays where, you know, your, your different divisions will have this giant fucking outdoor thing where they're all trying to make the families all get to know each other once a year or some shit and, and all that. It's it's to fucking, you know, you put your fucking life on the line, even if you're a rear echelon motherfucker like me, you know, you, you fucking swore an oath to something, and for that, the country, most of the country is grateful. All The entire country should be grateful, but most of it actually is. There's a few who aren't. Kind of like, you know, the Westboro Baptist community. Um, they are not grateful that soldiers are dying for their right to thank God for dead soldiers. But that's their problem. With this fucking punk-ass piece of shit, I mean, if you look at him, looking at him, yeah, who the fuck would have slept with that? The way he, the way his attitude toward women, who the fuck's going to sleep with that? He fucking 40-some page uh, thing about why he was doing what he was about to do. And if you look at that, he was a fucking psychopath. He was, he was fucked up because some girl didn't go out with him. He got turned down. So what? Fucking get the fuck over it. That's a woman's right to turn your dumb ass down. It's her fucking body. Just like rape's not okay. Fucking abortion's only okay if the woman's okay with it. But the father, like I mentioned my my feelings about abortion and stuff in an earlier video, but it's the woman who has to decide she should take the man's feelings into account but the man does not have the right to tell the woman, get that abortion. Because the only man who should be telling a woman to get an abortion is a doctor. Because, well, you'll die in four months, but it takes nine months to actually hatch this thing. Okay? But, yeah, when, when you fucking have such... I mean, honestly, me, I am not an example of positive thinking. I am not even... I'm not even slightly close to fucking having it even slightly right with how to be nice to people. I'm terrible at it. That's why I don't socialize in public, unless I'm at airsoft games. And then I'm the most social motherfucker of all. And I'm, I try not to have a potty mouth in front of your kids the way I have on these videos, but... I mean, outside of Airsoft and, and shit like that, what the fuck do I have to socialize about? <laughs> exactly. Um, fucking help me out here. Maybe, maybe I'm an idiot and I don't understand things. I'm sure according to MDA, I am totally fucking stupid. Um, even one of my friends said that if any of those women had been armed, that fucking shooting would not have gone as long as it had. You know? And as I said to them, I have more respect for someone who dies after firing eight shots than, than I have for someone who had a full magazine and died without even taking the shit out of the holster. Without even trying. Because, honestly, what the fuck good are you?
You gotta carry that shit and not act with it when the when you need it. Fucking you carry a firearm, you have a responsibility to those around you. Fucking Yeah. I mean it is tragic, people getting shot needlessly. And for those of you in that kid's fucking misogynistic little woman hating community, yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. But the only one that needs to have their eyes beat more than you is that fucker who said that NRA members should have their children targeted in the next mass shooting. And quit referring to it as goddamn gun violence. It was fucking... It was fucking woman-hating violence. It was psycho violence. There was a shootout or a fucking killing spree where the media focused on a guy who had a handgun and 400 rounds of unspent ammunition. He killed six people. Three of them he killed with a knife. And the first... In this shooting that just happened... The very first person he killed in his killing spree was his fucking roommate, who he stabbed to death. Hmm. I don't know. I'm sounding like a dumb motherfucker, I guess. But, hey. Let me know what you think. Comment, question, and all that bullshit. And if I'm smart later on, I'll update my description of this motherfucker with news clippings and shit. And I'm sure the Young Turks have something to say. I haven't actually looked at their channel yet, because I kind of got tired of their... They used to have fucking smart, semi-smart sounding, you know, incorrect arguments, where if you didn't know they were full of shit, you wouldn't know they were full of shit. Now they just sound like they're full of shit. Um, yeah. But, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, by the way. Those of you who are actually watching and being supportive of this attempt at a fucking YouTube channel, you're awesome.